everyone, Angela O'Hare here. Today I'm over at Highline. A few months back I did a video on one of the Highlines. I guess they have Highline 1 and 2. Of course, you know with Lennard they don't have any information, but today we're going to check out this community. Looks like they have a few floor plans. They have the Brooklyn, the Saratoga, and the Kensington. Um, so we're going to go check this out. I don't know much about them. We'll see which one will go first. And then, you know, in the description, as always, I will leave information about each of the model homes. So it looks like we're going to check out the Brooklyn. I'm going to push pause so I can access. All right, so the Brooklyn has two beds, two and a half baths, and 1448 square feet. It's <sighs> the only pain in the ass thing about Lennar. All right, so we're in the Brooklyn. Looks like you come into an entryway. I take my glasses off. The door does not look locked. Front door open. Hmm. All right. They have the tankless water heater and plumb for a water softener. It's a two car garage. And they consider these condos because you have no land, even though to me it looks like a townhome. So I just FYI on that, that we're touring the Brooklyn. We know. Oh yeah, so this is Highline 2. I don't even know the pricing of it right now. I'll leave it down in the comments below. Okay. I like this, it's open. Let's see what this patio is. Oh, nice. Look at the views. Can you hear me? So when you buy Lennar, you have what's called the everything included package, which I go over in every video or Lennar video that I do. So these horizontal blinds come with the house. This quartz countertop comes with the house. These gray shaker cabinets come with the house. And they have an option. I think they have four colors. They have white, um, the two, a gray, a charcoal, and a black, possibly. And I do believe that these same appliances come with the house as well. A nice big basin sink with a water filtration system for Kinetco. And then sometimes the refrigerators come with it. I think it does. Yeah, it does. So that's cool. This is a very nice fridge. And look at this pantry. That's beautiful. I like the feel of this. It's a good size. I mean, only two bedrooms, but then you have a half bath right here. All right. So with everything included, the houses are not going to come Mostly the houses come with all carpeting, the entryway, the kitchen, and the bathroom and laundry will come tiled. But a lot of these are probably already specced out where you can't really choose your options anyway. And most of the design designers for the builder will choose tile or a laminate or a vinyl plank flooring and then put carpeting in the bedrooms. Just FYI on that. So here is one of the bedrooms. It's a very good size and it looks like it has its own ensuite. So that's very nice. Good size walk-in closet. And then it's very own ensuite with the standard builder grade insert. And then this is a cultured marble. This comes with the house. Now, the one thing that most people or some people don't like about Lennar is that you can't really change out the bathrooms, especially in the primary bathroom. It is what it is. That's how the bathroom comes and you can't change it. Then you have a laundry room. Sometimes the washer and dryer does come with the house with Lennar. Sometimes it's confusing um, depending on the community. And here's your smart panel for your low E voltage and your cat five, six, whatever it's up to now. And then here's the primary. It's a good size primary. And then the 
closet. For 1,400 square feet, this feels good. I mean, if you're a single person, or maybe you have one kid, or husband and wife, a new couple, beginner home. So this is the standard shower insert. This is what's gonna come with the house. And more than likely, this is the basic tile that comes with Lennar as well. Well, that wraps up my tour of this Brooklyn model. Voted best luxury home builder. I don't know if I would consider Lennar a luxury home builder. I'll leave a comment in the description about the HOA. Um, I know Summerlin West HOA fees are $55 a month. But if you're thinking about buying a new construction home in the Summerlin area, you know who to call your local Summerlin expert, Angela O'Hare, at 702-370-5112. If any questions about it, just leave it down in the comments below. I forget, they always lock us in here. Peace out, guys.